I'm Ernie Jelinek, and this is the story of how the Mercedes Auto was named for a real person with the same family name as mine. Her name is Mercedes Jelinek, the daughter of Emil Jelinek and granddaughter of Aaron Jelinek, a famous rabbi in Vienna in the mid-1800s. Although I've given slide presentations on this subject over the years, I wanted to use the latest video technology to leave the story to posterity. I'm presently aged 95, but most of my research was done in the mid-1980s after I retired from a career in engineering and management. I'm the son of 1904 immigrants from Hungary when it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. My father was age eight at the time. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, graduated from James Madison High School in 1937, and earned a Bachelor of Electrical Engineering degree at the Polytechnic Institute of Brooklyn, now, which is now part of NYU, in 1941. I had a distinguished career in engineering and management, working for General Electric, ECA, and RCA. I began to research my family tree in the 1980s and have given slideshows talks on genealogy and my family tree. About my family name. Since my parents came from Hungary, I assumed the family name was Hungarian, but I later found that it was Czech. This is easy to understand considering that the Austro-Hungarian Empire covered areas speaking German, Hungarian, Czech, and Slovak. I later found my great-grandfather's house in Hungary, 85 miles west of Budapest, with its backyard right on the Danube River. Across the river, people spoke Czech. In these languages, the J is pronounced as Y, so the family name would be pronounced Jelinek. My grandfather was called Mr. Jelinek all of his life, and it's spelled that way on his gravestone. However, my father anglicized it to Jelinek. The name is translated to little deer, since Yellen means deer, and E-K is the diminutive ending. The name is fairly common in Austria, Hungary, and Czech Republic. In fact, in my travels, I found three pages of Yellenex in the phone books of Vienna, Prague, and Budapest. What started my investigation into Mercedes was this clipping that someone sent to me in about 1984. It shows a photo of Emil Jelinek with the statement that he was the originator of the name Mercedes and was an early distributor of the car. So what I wanted to know was who was Emil Jelinek? How did he originate Mercedes? Is my family related to his family? Since I am Jewish, my first thought was to see if Emil Jelinek was listed in the Jewish Encyclopedia, but he wasn't. I did find five Yelenecks who were related to each other, and here's their connections. Aaron Yelenek, who was a famous rabbi in Vienna in the mid-1800s. Two brothers of Aaron, Hermann and Moritz, and two sons of Aaron, George 
uh, Max. The brothers and sons were famous in various fields, such as academia and business. I then wrote to the Daimler-Benz Company in Stuttgart, Germany, to ask what they knew about the connection to the Elenach family. They very kindly sent the family tree, part of which is shown here. To my surprise, this tree included the same five people that I found in the Jewish Encyclopedia, and they are outlined in red. It also included another son of Aaron, named Emil, who is obviously the Emil I was looking for. He's shown in the center, outlined in yellow. The tree I received showed other sons and daughters, but they are not shown here because they don't play a part in this story. Here's a closer look at Emil's part of the, of the family tree. We see that he married Rachel Gogman in 1874 and had a daughter, Mercedes, born in 1889. Rachel died in 1893. Emil married Madeleine Didholler in 1899 and had a son, Guy, in 1902. There are other children from both wives, but only the ones pertinent to the story, Mercedes and Guy, are shown in these trees. Dangler Benz also wrote that Guy had written a book about his father and family, so I purchased a copy. It was written originally in French in 1961 and was translated and published in English by the Chilton Company. Here is the cover of the book. It's entitled, My Father, Monsieur Mercedes, written by Guy jelinek Mercedes, which was the family name by then another part of the story to be told later. Most of the information in the rest of my story came from this book, which is believed to be more authentic than many of the romanticized stories that have been circulated. Guy had access not only to talking with his father, but to the many documents that were filed in the family archives. Many of the photos in the story are from the book, and some are from Googled sources. Here is a brief summary of Emil Jelinek's life and how he got into the automobile business. He was born in 1853, the second son of Rabbi Aaron Jelinek. Unlike his brothers and uncles, he hated formal education, even throwing out the tutors his father hired for him. All he wanted was practical information. In 1870, at age 17, he ran away from home to Moravia and got himself a job on the Moravian State Railway. He was fired after joyriding on an off-duty locomotive. That was the beginning of his try-everything spirit. In 1872, his father got him a job with a friend who was the Austrian consul in Tangiers, Morocco. In 1874, he was promoted to Commerce Secretary in the Austrian consulate in Tetuan, Morocco. While in Tetuan, he fell off his horse and broke his ankle. A pretty young girl named Rachel Gogman, who lived nearby, took him into her family's home 
and nursed him back to good health. Soon afterwards, he married Rachel and converted to Catholicism. They had two sons born in Morocco. In 1881, he moved to Iran, Algeria, and became a wealthy businessman selling Algerian tobacco and also working for a French insurance company. In 1884, Emil and his family moved back to Vienna, working full-time for the insurance company. On September 16, 1889, his daughter was born and named Mercedes, which means favor, kindness, mercy, or pardon in Spanish. Emil came to believe the name Mercedes brought good fortune and later called all his properties by that name. He moved to Nice and being very wealthy by now, built his palatial residence named Villa Mercedes. In Nice he became enthralled by the automobile that had recently been invented. Many mechanically oriented people were building and selling their various versions to the public. Amos studied any information that he could gather about them and purchased many different ones, always demanding more power and speed. For a better understanding of automobiles at that time, here is a brief history. Inventors tried mechanizing horse buggies with steam engines throughout most of the 1800s, and many had successful businesses. In 1860, Joseph Lenoir patented the first internal combustion engine and built a car with a one and a half horsepower engine that he drove 18 kilometers at 12 kilometers per hour. Other inventors developed a variety of vehicles with internal combustion engines and kept learning from their efforts. Emil saw these developments and with his wealth started to buy one vehicle after another, always looking for more power and speed. Emil's first purchase was a D. Dion Bouton tricycle. Jules Albert de Dion was an engineer working for Georges Bouton, who had a workshop near Paris and produced steam-powered tricycles. In 1896, the de Dion Bouton motor tricycle went into production, weighing about 80 kilograms, with an output of one and a half horsepower. It had a relatively high price of over a thousand gold marks. Emil's next purchase was an 1896 Bolle three-wheeled vehicle with a one-cylinder engine that developed three horsepower. It was built by Leon Bolle, who had a workshop in Le Mans, France. Emil next heard about the great cars being built by Karl Benz in Mannheim, Germany. So he decided to go to Mannheim to see them for himself. The Benz people met him at the station in a Benz Victoria, which Emil loved and immediately purchased. It had a one-cylinder engine that developed three horsepower and attained a speed of 11 miles per hour. Emil next heard about the wonderful cars being built by Gottlieb Daimler and his plant in Konstadt, Germany. He bought a Daimler Phoenix double Phaeton with an 8 horsepower engine and speed of 24 kilometers per hour. Daimler's chief engineer 
William Maybach designed the GMG Phoenix engine, which featured four cylinders for the first time in a car. Also note that pneumatic tires were now being used. DMG seemed to be a very reliable enterprise, so Emil Jelinek decided to purchase only Daimler cars from then on. As noted previously, Emil continued to buy cars with higher power and faster speed. In 1899, he was up to 24 horsepower in the Daimler car in this photo with him driving. In Nice, France, at the time Emil lived there, autos were the rage and races were often held. Emil decided to get involved in the races and drove under the pseudonym Monsieur Mercedes. For example, he drove a Daimler with a 24 horsepower Phoenix engine in the Nice Castellan race, covering the 85 kilometer course at an average speed of almost 35 kilometers per hour. This is the type of car that Emil used in the Nice races. Other wealthy people were also buying cars and were very proud of their purchases. One day, Baron Arthur Rothschild was out for a drive in his eight horsepower car when Emil passed him on a hill in his Daimler. The Baron decided he must have Emil's car and bought it from him. Two weeks later, the same thing happened again because Emil had a still more powerful Daimler car. Emil realized that selling Daimler cars would be good business. So, on April 2nd, 1900, Emil sent a contract letter to the Daimler Motor Company, in which he established himself as sole distributor of Daimler cars in France. He also orders 10 cars and spare parts. The letter also specifies that a new type of engine will be produced with the name Daimler Mercedes. This is the first time that the name Mercedes is mentioned in Emil's dealings with Daimler. Here's a photo of Emil Jelinek with his daughter Mercedes at about the time her name began to be used in connection with Daimler engines and cars. She was age 11. This is a photo of Mercedes Jelinek at about the same time. Emil kept pushing William Maybach, the chief engineer of Daimler, to design more powerful and faster cars with all of the latest technology of the time. In 1901, he convinces Daimler to name the latest version Mercedes because it would sell better in France than a German named car. But Daimler continued to sell his cars elsewhere with the Daimler name. In 1902, the name Mercedes was registered as a trademark for the cars, and Emil's distributorship sold only cars named Mercedes. Sales were so good that Daimler realized that Mercedes was a better trade name and began to brand all his cars with that name. Here is a photo of the first Mercedes car. 
It had a 35 horsepower engine and could reach 55 miles per hour. It also introduced the aluminum crankcase, magnesium bearings, a pressed steel frame, a new kind of coil spring clutch, and the honeycomb radiator. It was longer, wider, and lower than the Phoenix and had better brakes. Also, a mechanic could convert the new Mercedes from a two-seat racer to a four-seat family car in just a few minutes. In 1903, Emil had his family name changed legally to Yellowneck hyphen Mercedes and his second family went by that name. In 1907, he gave up his business dealings to concentrate full-time as the Austrian consul in Nice. Unfortunately, when the clouds of World War I began to descend, France accused him of being a spy and confiscated all his property. He then went into exile in Geneva, and in 1918, he died and was buried there. In 1983, his family had his remains moved to the Catholic cemetery in Nice to be near the tomb of his first wife, Rachel. Here is Emil Jelinek in his uniform as Austrian consul in Nice. So what became of Mercedes, the young girl for whom the Mercedes cars were named? Of course she grew up, and in 1909 she married Baron Karl von Schlossen and had two children. In 1918, she left her husband in a scandalous relationship and married Baron Rudolf von Weigel. Unfortunately, she developed bone cancer and died in 1929. She was buried in the Catholic Cemetery in Vienna. Here's grown-up Mercedes driving a Mercedes car. This is Mercedes with her first husband, Baron Karl von Schlossen. The familiar Mercedes logo is a tri-star with its three points signifying the three areas where Mercedes engines are used, land, air, and sea. In 1926, the Daimler Motor Works merged with Benz & Company to form the Daimler-Benz Motor Company. Cars built by the company kept the tradition of replacing the Daimler name by the Mercedes name, so they are called Mercedes-Benz. It should be noted that Benz previously had nothing to do with the Mercedes cars. He remained on the board of the new company until his death in 1929. That wraps up the story of Emil and Mercedes Jelinek and the car named for her. Now I have to answer my original question, which was, is my family related to Mercedes family? Here is my family tree. The story of how I gathered the information is a subject for another talk. I traced my Jelinek family back to my great-grandfather Bernat, who lived from 1815 to 1887. He had a house in a one-street town named Duna Almash in the Hungarian part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. My grandfather, who we knew as Samuel, was born in the same house and eventually married and raised a family in that house. They emigrated to America in 1904 
when my father was age eight. Although my grandfather was known as Mr. Yellenek, my father anglicized the name to Jelinek. This is a timeline showing the periods during which each member of my family and Mercedes family lived. You can see that my great-grandfather was a contemporary of Mercedes' grandfather, Rabbi Aaron Yelenek. My grandfather's lifespan overlapped with that of Mercedes' father, Emil, and Mercedes was a contemporary of my father, except that her life was cut short in 1929. So we can conclude that during the lifetimes of the generations shown, there were no connections between the two families. As I stated earlier, there are many Jelinek families in the areas of the old Austro-Hungarian Empire. To wrap up my talk, I showed how the Mercedes Auto was named for a real person, Mercedes Jelinek, the granddaughter of a famous rabbi of Vienna. The naming was accomplished through the efforts of her father, Emil Jelinek, who was a wealthy entrepreneur who had a passion for more powerful and faster cars at the time of their early development. Without Emil Jelinek and his interest and efforts, there would not be a Mercedes car. Although Emil Jelinek became more famous and wealthy than his famous father, uncles, and brothers, who were listed in the Jewish Encyclopedia, he was not listed because he became a Catholic, starting with his first marriage. Finally, we concluded that my family is not related to Mercedes' family.